Ome Takuepi, my relatives. Our Lakota tradition goes to a word, mitakuye oyas, it means everything is connected in the, in the universe. We're related to the flowers and to the buffalo and to the water and to the breath and the spirit and the light. We're all one. And this to me is morphing or else sculpturing in the language of the death that we are connected and related. So I am honored to share the sacred ways in a Lakota way to Bring that to your mind and your heart and your spirit that we are all connected. Thank you, Reverend Wopala Chichiakalo. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm sitting here on a tree stump, one of many here on the stolen land of the Glala Lakota people. The Dakota people, the Sioux, Cheyenne, different indigenous people who've lived here and fought to protect this land. I just spent some time this weekend with a respected Lakota elder named Basil Braveheart. Our time together was deep, whether we were conversing, praying, or spending time together in silence. I had the honor of reading his unpublished book manuscript. I thanked him for giving me access to such sacred knowledge. In it, he shared visions passed down from his grandparents and from other spiritual predecessors. His book repeatedly emphasized the message that we are all connected. We all come from the womb of Mother Earth. We've gone through and continue to go through pain, war, violence, anger, depression, and sadness. Which are all a part of life, a part of divine creation, which is a union between light and shadow. Basil mentions that our estrangement from the earth and our fixation with technology and the materialistic corporate world leads to more pain. For healing to happen, we have to go back to our roots. We 
We have to feed our spirits and our souls. That is how we will heal. Basil recounts a message from his grandmother. Using the metaphor of a tree, she says that what is visible is supported by that which is invisible. The visible part of a tree is supported by its roots. We continuously need to remind ourselves to maintain our spiritual roots. That's just one of many pieces of wisdom shared in Basil's book. I felt, with his permission, it was important to share this message with all of you. For healing to happen, we need to be active in our inner work, in our community work, and in our acknowledgement of the earth, our actions that have led to destruction, theft, and exploitation must be transformed into forgiveness and healing. I wanted to share that with you all.